Hey guys, Jen here in the North View Model Shop, and as we've promised, we're starting a new kit today. Now, I know you car guys are going to be moaning and groaning out there, but we got to get back to our favorite subject and what we started when we got into the hobby, Revell Aircraft. Uh, this is the F9F8 Cougar. Um, history on the aircraft, uh, the Navy was running the Panther, uh, which was a straight wing design. Uh, they ended up engaging MiGs, and the MiGs were shooting them down left, right, and center, so they needed a more uh, maneuverable, faster, something to compete. So uh, the Grumman Corporation kind of come up with the Cougar, which apparently was really just a, a Panther with different wings onto it, and uh, the rest became history. Uh, a little history on the kit. Uh, this was, I guess, originally, originally released in 85. It was repopped in 93. It's, this version I have is a 93 pop. Um, buddy of mine calls me from a thrift store, says there's a bunch of model kits here, do you want them? How much they asked him? Well, they went 10 bucks, so how many can you, how many are there? And I was like, eight of them, so I mean, I paid like $1.25 or $1.50 for this kit. So, I mean, it was a great price, and you should see one of the other ones I got, it was mind-boggling. Um, where we're at so far, we've actually been playing with this for a day or so before we got the video up. We are right here. Kind of misleading because nothing's actually glued together. It's kind of a little thing we like to do when we build airplanes, is jets especially, to try to put them together as much as you possibly can, just to play with them a little bit. But um, anyway, so far so good. It builds up quick. Um, very few parts because uh, you see what's there. There's a tree here. Some of these parts are not applicable. They're for a different version. Um, there's a little tree here, some side winders, and these scoops here you don't use on the version I'm building. I'm doing the Navy version. And what's really cool, and hopefully we get this in focus, is that is the cockpit and pilot and tub all in one big piece. It's kind of weird for a 148 scale from what I've seen. Usually 148 gets you a whole cockpit you build and, and assemble multiple pieces. This is kind of more of a, like a 172 kind of um, cockpit piece. But uh, we're going to take it as it is because our goal is to be a quick build, get ourselves back into a model, get something nice, get it finished, kind of boom, get back into it, and then move right on to something else. And hopefully this summer, just keep the models rolling. Uh, kind of embarrassed by this, this winter here. We didn't build anything, so we want to kind of get back into it. The model season is started. The bug is kind of hit. You kind of want to get something cool to compete with. So it's not a car. And they're kind of going to probably lose some interest in some people, but it's a plane. Everybody loves planes. I mean, come on, guys, right? But um, we're having fun so far. Our goal is to... Um, like I said, paint of the navy, so it's a sea blue, which is our favorite color because you know we love the Corsair from our longtime subscribers. You know our Corsair was our favorite, and um, it was done in the deep sea blue as well. So let's have some fun. Um, detailing, I want to stay away from as much detailing as I can. What I did notice, I had to do some research on the bottom here. Let's see if we can get up there. I don't know if its focus is in, but you see a little uh, hatch there with some uh, holes dimpled into it. These apparently are what are called the air brakes, and they pop down and allow to slow the, the jet down. Now, we've taken a little hobby bit, and we've drilled these holes out. Now, the idea kind of came to me from a good friend, uh, Barry, who is building a dozer, and he actually sat there for I don't know how many hours and drilled out, I think it was like 375 little tiny, teeny weeny teeny holes in a radiator shroud for a dozer, and it just took the model from being amazing to being Oh my God, that is crazy cool. So Barry, thanks for the little tip bit there. Something simple, only takes a few minutes and adds a great amount of detail. So guys, stay tuned. I wanna to try to keep the videos rolling uh, with this project. Like I said, it should be quick. So before you know it, we'll be back to something you guys love. But anyway, if you like what you're seeing, hit the share button. If you really like what you're seeing, hit the like and the share button. And if you don't like what you're seeing, <laughs> thumbs down. But it's all good. All right guys, adios and stay tuned.